I'll tell you the same thing I told you all season. Uh, you know, we focus on every game, every week. It's like it's a playoff game, you know. And Coach Fisher said something today that was really interesting. He said, you know, play like it's a high school playoff game. You know, you don't worry about the next week. You don't because you have to make sure you get past this week. And, you know, that's what we're trying to do. We're just trying to focus on every week individually, you know, because it's, you know, each game has a one-week lifespan. So, uh, you know, we just want to go out and just execute and, you know, uh, get the game plan in, just, you know, and play to the best of our ability. Syracuse has been pretty good at stopping the run, especially mm -hmm. this year. Obviously, another good. you're facing another good defensive line. Is any any defense you're going to focus going to try to take away the run? How much of an emphasis of pride is that for you guys, just to do what you've been doing and be able to pound the ball? Uh, that's that's definitely a great deal of emphasis because we didn't run the ball as well as we wanted to in Wake Forest. You know, granted we weren't on the field a lot and we couldn't really get a rhythm going early, but you know, uh, there's no excuse. Um, we want to get the run game going early in this game, uh, regardless of who the opponent was, because you know, the run opens up the pass. So. Um, we just want to get out there and just do what the coaches have set up and have what they have in place and just, you know, execute the game plan. How hard was Saturday for you guys? I mean, obviously, 59-3 victory, you're never going to complain about that. But in terms of getting into a rhythm in the first half, how, how tough is that? Because how many times did you get the ball? Maybe four times, maybe? I can't even remember, but it wasn't a lot. Uh, our defense played tremendous, and they just got they, – they created a lot of turnovers, and they, they executed, and they finished plays. Um, and when we run on the field, you know – we run on the field for a PAT field goal. You know, that that was it. And then we come back off of the defense, go back on, get another turnover. And then we come on, we have a 30-yard 30, 30 field, and then come out score, and then get back off the field, and we'll go back home for a couple more drives. It was just, I mean, you know, we haven't really had that. Uh, we haven't really been in that type of situation. So we, we were a little flat. You know, we wanted to come with a lot of enthusiasm in that game, but we were a little flat early. And, and, and I mean, that, that's probably the reason. But, uh, you know, Regardless of what happens, we have to come out and we have to play aggressive. And we have to just uh, dominate. We have to dominate. I mean, that's 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 pretty much point blank period. We have to dominate, and uh, you know, at, at any giving any given game, you know, anything can happen. So you have to be prepared for every situation. Syracuse is the next game, but it's also your last ACC regular season game. What would it mean for you guys to finish that ACC schedule undefeated? First of all, it's crazy that the season is almost over. I feel like we were just talking about uh, you know talking about fall camp. But, uh, you know, it, it's definitely important. Um, I mean, you got to give every team a lot of respect. And this is their first year in the ACC. They're trying to establish, you know, a, a reputation, you know, how people see them, how people view them, how teams play them. So, uh, you know, we, we've just put, we, we're putting a great deal of emphasis on, on this game just as we put a great, great, as we put a great deal of emphasis on every game. Um, we just want to go out there and just play ball and just do, play, you know, execute what the coaches have set out for us. And, um, you know, they have a good team. You know, we watched them a little bit already, and I mean, they're not going to back down. They're going to play hard. I mean, Syracuse has always been a good football program historically, and you know, and they're going to come here and they're, they're going to try to make a name off of us. And you know, we have to be used to that. We have to get used to it because uh, where where we want to go, at Florida State is you know to a, to an elite level, and at that at that time, you know, it's going to be a target on our head. So we want to just come out and just play ball. I'm sure either you might have been two years old, maybe not alive, when the 1993 National Championship team was going on. I'm sure you've at least heard about it, but you, we're going to honor them, them, them this weekend before the game and have yeah. a lot of those guys back, like if it's a Charlie Ward or Derek Brooks. Yeah. What do you know about that team? I mean, when you talk about a team that really kind of set the standard uh, for the way Florida State was, I mean, that was the team. I mean, I, I honestly couldn't really tell you a lot about it. You know, I, I just know we won a National Championship in 1993 and 99. But uh, I, was I, was, I wasn't even one. I, well, yes, I was one. I was born in '92, um, so I mean it's going to be great to have those guys around. You know, I mean that that that's those are the guys who who you know formed the program that we're in now, and it's going to be great to honor those guys and just see them here. You know, and, and we want to give we want to give them something to look at. You know, uh, and uh, we're in a great position right now. You know, with everything, so we're just going to go out and try to execute and just play ball, and have fun. When you hear the names Charlie Ward, Work Done, Derek Brooks, I mean these are not only. I mean, work done, and Derek Brooks will be NFL Hall of Famers. Yeah. Not only Clark, I mean, you're talking about Charlie Ward, the guy that set the standard for everything here. I mean, these are some big name guys. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, words can't. You, I, I can't even express. I can't say or, or describe how I feel when I hear those names because I mean, and, and I've met all those guys except Charlie Ward. You know, um, and, and they're real down to earth guys. You know, uh, and, and they try to help you in every way that they can. You know, whether they be giving you advice or you know just 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 a helping word. You know. Um, every time you see those guys, you always, I mean, it, it's always positive. So it's going to be great to see them down here this weekend.
You good? I uh, just wanted to, we didn't mention, um, you guys are the Atlantic Division champs now. So tell me how that feels and, and how it's going to be able to get back to, you know, Charlotte. Well, definitely that feels great, but, uh, you know, that's not what we want right now. You know, I mean, it, it, it's one of our goals going into every season, but, uh, you know, ultimately it's AC championship and, you know, you know, definitely think about national championship, but, you know, we have to take it week by week, game by game. So, um, you know, it, it's great to have, great great to be in this position and great to be able to play and say we're Atlanta division champs again, second year in a row. So, I mean, it feels great, but, you know, uh, I mean, that's just another step in the process that we're trying to handle right now.